this is Dave Parker on the P Squared Sports Network coming to you from the Texas High School Coaches Convention here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm alongside Coach Rick Rhodes of the Cameron Yeoman. Well, Coach, welcome aboard. Thank you. I appreciate y'all having me. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about Cameron, Texas. Cameron, Texas is a, is a neat place to be. It's a small town. It's about 30 miles east of Temple. Uh, you know, we're, we're very, very fortunate. We've had a lot of success. Uh, 2010, we won the Lone Star Cup. Uh, it, it's a place where, you know, high school athletics is important, and, and certainly football is important. So it's a good, a good place to be. How many kids in your program? We, we have about 400 kids in high school, and we have about, you know, we'll probably have about 100 kids in our, in our high school football program. So 25%, well, if you got 400 kids in the high school, 200 girls, then you got half of the kids yeah. in the program. We, we're very fortunate. You know, like I said, football is still a big thing in Cameron, Texas. All right, so I got to ask this question. I'm sorry. That's okay. What's a yeoman? Well, a yeoman, actually, the, the, the school was named after C.H. Yo. And, uh, and so it was Yo High School. So I guess just through time, just by naturally, we became the Yo Men. So that's what a Yo Men is. I think our, our actual mascot is a is an archer. Really? But, but that's really not a Yo Men is a Yo Men. <laughs> well, Coach, you know we've been talking to a lot of 5A coaches, mm -hmm. uh, and they're talking to me about 400 kids in their program. You're talking to me about 100. What's different about, and you were at Judson, uh -huh. what's different about being at a smaller school versus a Judson? You know, there's a lot of a lot of differences. Uh, you know, I think each one has their, their pauses, but to me, you know, our kids do everything. You know, our, our kids, you know, go from football to basketball to track and baseball. And uh, like I said, we, we, we've been very successful. Uh, you know, two years ago, we won that. We came in second state in football, and we won the state championship in baseball. So that that's the big difference to me is that the kids do everything. And you know, the other thing I like about being in a small school is, is, is I know all. You know, I know just about every athlete in the school. There's not an athlete that, that plays in our school, boy or girl, that I don't know. And, and I like that. I think that's a pretty neat deal. Well, Coach, what about this season? Well, we got a chance to be pretty good. Uh, you know, we, we've returned eight on offense. We returned eight on defense. Uh, we got beat in the first round last year in the playoffs by Tatum, who, who we had beat the year before in the uh, in the quarterfinals. And, uh, you know, we were very young last year. We started five sophomores and, and four seniors. The rest of them were juniors. So, so I feel like we got a chance, you know, just looking at our depth and, and the kids coming back, we got a chance to be really, really good. Uh, what, defensive offensive philosophy. We're, we're uh, defensively, we're a 3-4 front. Uh, take a lot of the principles that, that, that we used at Converse Judson. Was our, we, you know, we were a weak eagle team at, at Converse Judson. We're a 3-4 at uh, Cameron Yo, but it's a lot of the same principles. And offensively, we, uh, we run very similar to the spread offense, very similar to what Coach Dodge ran, who you interviewed before. Uh, I, I started... Uh, I saw him play in 2002 in the state championship against Smithson Valley, and I really liked what they were doing. Uh, I talked to Coach Dodge, and, and I spent a lot of time working his camps and visiting with him and his coaching staff. So our offense is very, very similar to what South Lake Carroll ran. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you're in a smaller school. Boost your club still important to you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We, you know, we're like everybody else. We're, you know, our, our funds are getting cut like everybody else's funds are getting cut. So, you know, we want our program to be a first-class program. In order to do that, the Bristol Club has to, you know, come through for us and, and we're, we're, you know, and pick up some of the slack that we lost through the budget cuts. Uh -huh. And, you know, part of our sponsorship today and then part of Peace Squared Sports is Carl Padilla, uh -huh. the Padilla Paul. You ever look at that thing? Oh, Carl, Carl does a great job. I mean, you know, when he first started this, I guess it's been probably, what, 10 years ago now? Has it been that long? Seven, eight, 10 years? You know, I, I really, I thought, man, you're going in against the Harris Pole and, and stuff. You know, that's, that's going to be a tough battle. But but he has really found a niche, and, and, and he does a lot of things that other poles don't do as far as the, the things that he sends us, you know, uh, going into the playoffs and things like that. They're, they're just great. I mean, he, he really, you can tell he puts a lot of time and effort into his pole. Well, Coach, it's been a pleasure. Good luck this season. This has been Dave Parker on the P Squared Sports Network with Coach Rick Rhodes of the Cameron Yeoman. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Thank you.